Now that's the serious side of, of, the, uh, of the show. But today we we're actually sponsors of the Tour Down Under and the Unley Gourmet. And as part of that, we've got one of the big names uh, in food with us in the studio today. How does that link to real estate? Well, it doesn't. So just relax. <laughs> it's, all about, um, it's all about having a bit of fun. Our celebrity chef, Simon Bryant. Simon, welcome. Thanks, Anthony. Thanks for now, having Now, just us. before we go on, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, what happened to your nose? Uh, I have a fight with my dog every morning. Nothing serious, just a play fight. He got the better of me this morning. It's looking really sexy. Yeah, it's very <laughs> cool. He's got a nice, nice straight little cut down there. He's good. He's yeah? good. And you're running a bit late for the show. What, anything you can share with the audience? Uh, I'd rather not. Um, yeah, I'd rather <laughs> not. Um, the, yeah, okay. We'll leave that one well alone. Right, okay. <laughs> now, uh, Simon, just a bit of background. You're a... I mean, everybody knows you, you're a very high profile chef. Just give us a snapshot of where you're from, how you got into what you're doing now. Oh, geez, I can't give you a snapshot. I'm a, I'm a pom, don't hold that against me. Um, my mum brought us out to Australia a few thousand times. She couldn't make up her mind. Um, Is that right? <laughs> yeah. It's I, great for business though. That's the real estate part <laughs> of the segment, go. right? Well, she bought a lot That's of houses. That's exactly right. Um, she brought us to SA when we were kids. Um, for a short while, I ended up in Melbourne, uh, got out of uni, started cooking, loved it. was trying to pay my way through uni in those days, so got a gig at the uni kitchen. Yep. Um, and came back to South Australia basically because the produce is so damn good. Um, good. Been here for 12, 13 years and okay. love it. It's a great place to cook. Now Simon, we're here um, because we're sponsors of the Tour Down Under the Gourmet, gourmet event at Unley. Tell, tell us all about it. Tell everyone about what's happening. Oh, Unley Gourmet Gala, that's a mouthful, isn't it? It's a great event, sandwiched between stage two and three. The boys on the bikes are off to, I reckon, Victor on the day after. Okay. So the event's on the Thursday, I reckon, or oh, I hope I've got that right. Anyway, um, it's in between stage two and three of the tour. So I'm actually doing a bit of a cook up about some of the food that they'll pass through on their bikes yes, on the way yep. down to Victor. Yep. Um, and I'm taking a few liberties. I'm going to use a Kurong mullet because I figure I better show the, the guys what we've got in SA. Yeah, I know that the Kurong's a bit off Victor. They can ride down to the Kurong if they want. Yeah, It's fine. And I'm going to do a little bit of a take on a Niswa salad because I figure there's a lot of Frenchies okay. and they like that with some native spices. And do you know Nobby Club Rush? No. Oh, it's a weed. It's a, it's right. a, and I'm going to smoke it on that. So a bit of you're bit gonna, of Aussie You're going to be food. smoking. Yeah, going to be. Oh, smoking. you're going to smoke the food. Oh, you're going to smoke right, the food. Right. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Got it. So yeah. And now tell me about the uh, fashion parade at the Abbey. We've we've got the Abbey as the venue yep. for the big night with the fashion parade, um, and that's on King William Road, obviously, number eighty four King William Road. Um, did you go last year? Yeah, I went into the venue. Um, it's a fantastic venue. I think you've got to be special to get in there though, don't you? Well, you don't have to be special to go to the... We, we're not in control of it. Oh, okay. I did get a ticket because we're sponsoring it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. apparently it's uh, the premiere and, or, you know, but outside... Outside the fashion yeah. parade, um, rest assured, I won't be doing it. Maybe Poe will do it because she's okay. cooking as well. That's a joke. Yeah. Um, she's cooking is not a joke, the fashion parade. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a great day. There's lots, to, well, evening, lots to see, lots of little bike rides, couple of charity runs, um, all the restaurants spill out onto the street. And I reckon it's a bit like being in a European city while the tour's on and everyone just gets into the spirit of it. So the, between the cooking stage, the fashion parade down at Tupi's and the general public events and the finish of the charity race, there's a lot to see. Okay. Um, and just in terms of how they sort of book it in, it's, it, I think it is on the Thursday, doesn't it? Yeah, I hope I've got that right. Anyway. Google. It, yeah, Google it. <laughs> Google it. Yeah, well, let's make it hard because they've got to chase it a bit. They want to get there. I should um, know. Kate will kill you. She's the organiser. <laughs> I should know this. And um, Anyway, so we're down. Uh, they shut the road, King William Road. Yep. And it's just a huge night, isn't it, for everyone to attend? Oh, it's great. And the calibre of the restaurants, Vince from Vincenzo's is down there, okay, yeah. flogging his homemade Italian sausages. Um, I think Marrakesh, all the local businesses set up food. You can eat, you can drink, you can have a good time. It's really good. I reckon stage three is Thursday and I reckon the night's Wednesday. Backpedal, oh, Is that right? Is that right? Well, last year I was actually, I didn't make it because I was in hospital. Really? Yeah. But I heard all the reports, actually it was Wednesday night. It was the Wednesday night last We're week. in trouble already, aren't we? Yeah, we need to know all this. And anyway, so with the tour down under, in terms of it's free to come along. Yep. Uh, there'll be fashion parades, there'll be food galore. Yep. You've got to mix with the riders and 
talk with the guys on the bikes and basically it's just a very casual night, isn't it? Yeah, and a lot of freebies kicking around too. You know, little tasting serves and whatnot. So you, you not only can sit down and have a dinner, you can taste a few wares. And I, I just like it. It's uh, foot traffic only and it takes on a whole new dimension. Last year it was a beautiful night. I think Callum was down there from MasterChef cooking up a storm as well. Um, it's fun. It's good. And so by the name of it, clearly there's a lot of food is a big part of it and presumably the wine. Yeah, definitely. Um, they're travelling through some pretty serious wine regions when they kick off. Um, and that's become really a bit of part of the tour. Yeah. Um, I know the riders have a little bit of a drink, the Europeans. Is that right? Oh, we used to cater for them at the Hilton, and they'd have a bottle of wine for dinner, so there you go. Is that right? Yeah. How do they stay that fit? Oh, these guys, I mean, that's just probably fuel for them, but they're European, they have wine with everything. Fantastic. So um, we're going to come back with some questions in a minute. Yep. But in the meantime, let's go and do a little bit of real estate, and let's go to going, going, gone.